Welcome back to round two as the Baconator takes on the famous star in the Campbell's Vlog Burger Championship round two. Let's take a look at the competitors. Last show, the Big Mac barely edged out the Whopper. This week, can the Baconator take out the famous star in the last spot of the semifinals? Join us today and find out. Let's go to our host right now. Hi guys, welcome back to Campbell's Vlog for the Burger Championship round two. Make sure if you missed round one to check it out. The links and the details in this video. We had the Whopper versus the Big Mac. The winner goes on to face the winner of today. And today we have Wendy's versus Carl's Jr. Where's the beef? Oh, whoa. Oh, I Ex think it's right there. Excuse me, who are you? I'm Wendy. Whoa, whoa, copyright. <laughs> Wandy? The burger girl. Wandy the burger girl? Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. This week we're doing the signature burger for Wendy's, the Baconator. That sounds familiar. And the famous star from Carl's Jr. Wait. Wandy the burger girl, would you like to join us? Wait a second. I'm a big boy bride. Whoa. Big boy Bri. Big boy Bri, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. I guess we better get going. You guys ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, in today's Let challenge, them. we have six categories. Each category will be a point, which includes appearance, burger, sauce, cheese, sides, bun, bun, Overall and overall taste. Overall taste will be worth three points, so we can try and hopefully avoid a tie. And the reason we changed it from two points to three points is because pretty much Bry Boy made the Big Mac win with the overall taste, and we thought the Whopper probably should have won. But hey, this is your part of the game, right? Yeah. We will start off today with the appearance. Okay, guys, why don't we start off with Carl's Jr.? So this is the famous burger. Now one thing I, I realized about Carl's Jr. is there never used to be any Carl's Jr. here no. in our city of Regina. But uh, I think what happened was Carl's Jr. bought Harvey's and all the Harvey's went away and now Carl's Jr.'s are here. So why don't you open your burger Trent and let's take a look. I thought you'd never ask. That's the famous burger. So, famous star. Awesome. Okay, this I like. Right off the bat, this. This little burger sleeve. That is a good idea. You don't see that often in the burger? No. Nope. So, sometimes when you open, like, take for instance McDonald's, mm -hmm. sometimes you just open that cardboard box and yeah. it's like everything slid all over the place. This, this is awesome. It keeps everything in place. Perfecto. So first thing I'll say is the bun definitely seems a little flimsy, not mm -hmm. the most attractive, and it's honestly it's pretty smushed. Yeah. Could have done without a little bit of the crush here. Pretty smushed, eh? That's probably the, the one downside of this wrapper is maybe they wrapped it too tight because you can see the how the burger bun took the shape of the wrap when they went. This burger isn't too pretty. Yeah, as you can see, this, the cheese is sort of just schlocked on there, so um, not the most attractive. And as you see here, the lettuce is definitely uneven. They kind of just lob the big piece, of, piece of white lettuce, which isn't that great. On there. Yeah, and the pickles are really just thrown on there. So honestly, not the most attractive burger we've seen yeah. so far. So far. This, this one. Looks like they did a slightly better job. Yeah. Um, my guess would maybe be because there's no sauce on this burger. Yeah. It didn't slide around so much. Yeah, we're doing, Trent doesn't have but, sauce. He's not a saucy boy. That's why he's in charge of reviewing the cheese. I'll be in charge of the sauce. So we even it out. Awesome. 
There's even cheese in ours. Even cheese. Let's stack out the Baconator. Okay. Yes. Trenton. All right. Let's move okay. this to the side. Let's take a look. Oh. Really? Oh my. And then Nicely done. Stacked Nicely well. Nicely done. Good stack job. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's stacked neat. Yeah. Stacked cheese neat. on both patties, which is nice. Very nice. Not cheaping out on the bacon or the cheese. The bun also, another little bit of a flimsy. Yeah. A little bit flimsy. Okay guys, so we're gonna give our, we're gonna see who we're gonna give the point to an overall appearance for. Um, Brian, of these two burgers, which one do you think looks better? The Carl Jr. Okay, nice. well, fair enough. He's going with the appearance. That Brian's is. giving the point, which is crazy, to Carl Jr. Okay, I'm giving the point, personally, to the Baconator. I think overall, it was just it, it's a lot more neater, and it just looks more appealing. So, Baconator for me. The Baconator for me, also, the appearance is far better. The stack job, I mean, look at the spread of that bacon. Yeah. Does it get any better than that? Yeah. And, Two patties, two slices of cheese, yeah. six pieces of big fat bacon. They definitely don't cheap out, which is nice to see yeah. in a burger. Yeah. Okay, next we're doing bun. So we'll start with uh, Wendy's Baconator bun. It looks a little bit shiny like plastic. However, it has a good feel, a little bit spongy. I like that they have it toasted a little bit, makes it more firmer, holds everything in. Carl's Jr. has, well, look at this. That, that to me is a very bad bun. Yeah. So let's go for taste, guys. Tastiness. Okay, now try the Baconator. I will take a taste. Okay. Now, if you have to do this to take a taste of the bun, that's pretty sad because it is so wet, yeah. it's stuck to everything. Ooh, that's very dry. No, Wendy's bun is much better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Trent. I mean, mm. I think both these buns are a little eh, but I definitely the Wendy's is better. It's just, it's, it's more flavorful, it's a little mo more moist. Yes. This one is kind of almost slimy and paper thin, so. It's like a wet sponge. Yeah, so definitely Wendy's for the bun. Okay, a little bit sweeter. Okay, so two points for the Baconator bun and one one for the Famous Star. Next up, guys, the meat. Okay, guys, let's try that. Let's try the burger meat. Okay, just try it. Let me see. Carl's Jr., the patty is dry and it's not all that moist and it's very flavorless. Now, the Wendy's burger, actually, it tastes like it's been flame broiled, not just slapped on a grill. So it's got a very good flavor to it and it's a bit moister and overall just better taste. I'm taking the Baconator meat patty. Yeah, and basically, I don't really have to say anything because everything he said, I agree with. I'm definitely going with the Baconator. It's just overall better quality. It's a thicker meat, and it's just a tastier meat. Carl Jr. 
And what did you like better about the Carl's Jr. meat? Mine is more wet and moistury. Mmm. Okay. Wet and moistury is so good. <laughs> wet and moistury? For the point. It's time for sauce and cheese. Mmm. Okay guys, so we're we're in charge of the sauce here. Alright. Bri, take take some of the sauce for the Carl Carl's Jr. Okay. Mm. Pretty good. Tastes like jalapeno. Okay. <laughs> nice. And then a little sauce here. Try try the bacon in the sauce. Okay. So me and Brian are in charge of the sauce. And for me personally, this time for the sauce, I'm gonna go with Carl's Jr. I prefer the traditional mayo ketchup. And it just, I don't know, it was a little bit more tangy and zingy with Carl's Jr. So I'm gonna give the point for the sauce actually to the famous Star Burger. One point for Carl's Jr. I'm gonna get Carl's Jr. Um, the ketchup was more like, like catching up to the mayo's flavor. We are in the presence of absolute genius. Thank you, big boy Bry. So two points Amazing. for the sauce. Yeah. Amazing. Now Brilliant. The, Can you believe it? Now the cheese. Now the cheese. Starting with Carl's Jr. Guys, if you hear a noise, it's cute baby bells in the background. Family vlog, what can you do? It's my stomach, I'm so hungry. <laughs> baby on board, guys. Baconator cheese. Mmm. Mm. Both cheese taste awfully similar. Mm. I wonder why. Maybe they use, maybe they both use the same. Um, uh, Maybe it's bacon. a tie. And no baconator cheese, I think. Yeah. Just edges off a little bit. Just, a little just bit. more of it. More of it yeah. has uh, has a little bit more of a creamy taste to it, flavor than the uh, Carl's Jr. Okay. Let me me. Let's do the side. Okay. Let's start off with. Carl's Jr. As we said, the lettuce is kind of just a big glob of white lettuce. Onions. I do like the onions. I will say I find Carl's Jr. is quite similar to Burger King, but perhaps a little less quality. We'll yeah. see. Pickle. Mm. With the Baconator. There's not a lot of sides. Honestly, there's no sides. So it's almost unfair for us to do a sides versus sides. Can we might have to just eliminate this, this from the competition. Can we consider bacon a side? Can we consider bacon a side? What do you guys think? If I, if I hear a clap, then bacon a side? Okay. I guess the crowd has spoken. Bacon is a side. Okay, so let's try the new one. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, onion was good. Yeah. You can't go wrong with onion. Really. Yeah, similar to the Burger King onion. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, I think you know, they use a slightly sweeter onion here than Burger King. I think. I kind of like that personally. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Lettuce. Mm. Not, not overly soggy. Got a good crunch to it. Tomato. Well, it's in fairly decent condition. Really 
like a pickle. Mmm. Tomato's good. Tomato's delicious. I like it. Onion tomato's really good. Lettuce is just... The lettuce alone, though, is... Really, for me, that's a game changer. It's so bad that... Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you almost wonder if they should even put lettuce on the burger or not, but... Pickle time. Mmm. Firm and crunchy, the way a pickle the should pickle be. The pickle is really good. Yeah, it's got a bit of a... Uh, A bit, yeah, a yeah. little sweeter tang than than I'm used to, but it, it's still pretty good. Yeah, and oh, just yeah. just before I forget, we're not basing it on the overall burger, but on this particular burger, how it was made. So if it's made yes. terrible, and it's really unfortunate because I have a feeling that Carl's Jr. could be really good if the quality was there, because the products itself, like the onions, tomato, yeah. are really good, but this lettuce is insulting, <laughs> it, honestly. Yeah, it is. And it's just slapped together. It's, it's it. Carl's Jr. is feels so similar to Burger King, and I love a Whopper. It's quite similar to a Whopper. Yeah. Yeah. It could be good if it was made good. But... A little more work, Carl. Just a little more work, you'll get there. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try the bacon from the Wendy's bacon eater. Okay. <laughs> Brian, why did you spit on Uncle Trent? <laughs> Okay, now I'll see the bacon from the Wendy's Baconator. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a very good slice of bacon. Mmm. Excuse bit... my language, but that's damn good bacon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, it's not soft and soggy like sometimes bacon can be. That's a real turn off. Or overcooked. Or overcooked especially. <laughs> I've had a lot of team burgers where the bacon was way overcooked. Yeah, no, this bacon is mm, really good. And most important thing, it doesn't taste like those crappy frozen heat for five seconds and the bacon's ready to go bacon strips, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it, actually it really good. It tastes like real bacon that they actually cooked for a while. Yeah. And some of you guys may be wondering why we're doing a bacon burger versus the Famous Star, but it's because it's this, we're doing the signature burger for every place. So depending what your signature burger is, that's what you're going up against. Signature. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, big boy. Okay. So, Sorry. so Brian, you're going with Carl's Jr. for the sides, right? I think, I think Wendy's is an under undercover agent for Carl's Jr. Are you sure your name's not Carl's Jr.? <laughs> okay. And for me personally, I'm going with the bacon hair. Me too, Baconator. And you know what? Carl's Jr. had some quality, but the lettuce? The lettuce sucked. Yeah, lettuce, lettuce, should, lettuce should not be a hockey puck. The lettuce and the bun are definitely disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, now. Okay, are you ready, Brian? Okay. Okay, guys, now it's my favorite part. It's time for our overall taste. I'm hungry. We'll start with Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. guys, take a big bite, Bri. Mm. 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 It works. It's a good it's burger. Not I don't know about yours. The lettuce I got in here is a tiny bit bitter. Mm -hmm. No, no. White like lettuce, that. not good. Uh, but I mean, the tomato's great. Everything else great. is good. Yeah. Unfortunately, for me, when I bought, when I bite into it, the bitterness of the lettuce took over everything. So I didn't even taste the pickle. Barely tasted the onion. Absolutely terrible not bun good. and absolutely terrible lettuce. Yeah. The bun is just honestly. Good luck, Carl Jr. Yeah, pretty. Again, guys, sorry for the baby sounds. Let's try the Baconator. You guys ready? Baconator. Windy, the Carl Jr. We need the wild card. <laughs> mm. Okay. So I have not had a Wendy's burger, 
probably for at least in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 years. Back when I had it, it was a pathetically flat square patty and yeah. it didn't taste any good. Yeah, those were flat. Yeah. yeah. They still kept the square patties, which is kind of interesting. I thought they went to round ones, but hey, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, the taste, from what I remember, has improved vastly. Mm -hmm. um, the, this Baconator is just delicious. The patties cooked very well, flavorful bacon. Just, come on, who doesn't like bacon? It's the candy of meat. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm picking Wendy's over Carl's Jr. Just, even though Carl's Jr. has the good sides, like, it, it's, the taste is horrible thanks to the lettuce. Carl, take note. Carl Sr., talk to Carl Jr. Yes, Tell him to get please. his stuff together. Like, we need quality over quantity. <laughs> yes. Wendy's Baconator, by far my choice. Baconator! So, Brian, what did you like the most about the Carl Sr. burger? Because of the pickles, it's a little bit sweet, and the moisture is like more soft. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit of a soft burger and has good pickles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why didn't you why didn't you choose the baconator? Because the baconator and the bacon was too hard. Okay, so I think that's a good point. I think for kids, a baconator might be a little hard to eat because it's two big patties and bacon. So with for those little chompers it could be hard. Yeah. Okay guys, so this was actually my first time trying Carl's Jr. And honestly it could have been an impressive burger. The cheese, the onions, the tomato, everything other than the patty and the um, bun, actually a pretty good quality. Too bad it was just made so terrible that it was absolutely couldn't win. Yeah. And for me, I haven't had a bacon in a long time and I actually was surprised. The quality was good. The bacon, delicious. The patty, delicious. Definitely for me, Wendy's really came through and stomped Carl's Jr. <laughs> Famous Star Burger, Big Flop. Poor Man's Whopper. Poor Man's Whopper, no good. Wendy's Baconator, for the win. The Baconator, he will be back. He will be back in round two. Baconator with the big win. Okay everyone, please join us for the next round when we have the Dairy Queen Flamethrower versus the a &W Team Burger. Two classics coming up.